Yo, anybody seeing this, please tweet my homie and tell him to shave his beard, man. That's Hell no. Damn, <laughs> Hell no. Uh, pretty penny on the boots. Uh, the hard nigga with the juice. I think that's part of what I'm trying to work on is, you know, to have this you know, whatever you want to call it, like a regal vibe of being come in and having like a, a respect and a love from people to where they bring their A game. DJ Babu is the guy that I really looked up to growing up. I've said that many times. And uh, now he's like become a friend of mine. He supports Close Sessions. He's one of the earliest producers. Just people in music that were like, I get it and I'm down with that and I want to support it. It's been like a rebirth for me like this last year. It's like very humbling, um, but exciting at the same time, like reintroducing yourself to a new generation. Man, so jump off right yeah, My experience with DJ Babble was like from an old school yeah. level, you know, so it's like I know what that sounds like, but people grow and develop. And so I had no idea what DJ Babble in 2011 was going to sound like. And then you also had the dynamic of Vic Mensa and Sir Michael Rocks working together for the first time. When you get on songs with other MCs that you, you know, got respect for, it's fun because you you want to you want to just challenge yourself to go as hard as you can on there and you know just contribute to the song. How about this? <laughs> What's so cool about it is that you have DJ Babu, who's in some circles a legend. He's faced with the task now of man, staying relevant, re-energizing, getting himself known to a whole new fan base. Something I'm constantly aware of is um, trying to mind the age gap. You know, because as I'm getting older, my crowd gets younger almost, and it's like, you know, being able to work with the younger cats helps me stay in touch. Vic Mensa almost is where Mikey Rocks was a few years ago. I was just there, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like that. Like, it changes so quickly, man. You know, that's what they got us all here, man. That excitement about the music and passion and just wanting to, wanting to rock and have fun, man. Rolling up an ounce on the iPad 3. I'm an ocean to a puddle, you are not that deep. You ain't talking about the paper, then I'm not gonna speak. Looking like the town mirror walking out my suite. I'm gonna keep sweating. You know, Mikey really took charge and, and, and kind of like laid the foundation and the vibe of the song and, you know, laid a really, really dope hook that was fun. And, approach is different than mine too, you know what I'm saying? So I like to work with cats who look at it different so I can see it from another side too. Like I think that working with other artists should always be like a learning experience like that. You should always come away with some some kind of new knowledge of you know of your craft. So me take it there. I accept the offer in closed sessions just to show what I had to offer. I see these guys mad I'm stacking like CJ Walker. These girls just wanna have fun like Cindy Law. Damn so stupid so stupid drop top riding on top where the roof is